tell you. Back I up. Will. Go. Stop the riot. Back away. I am just go. Just go. What happened? Well, I saw an anti-war demonstration of 50 or 60 people walking down to mark an anniversary that this country refuses to talk about. All we talk about is more troops. And then we were met with about 40 freaking cop cars coming down, police cl clubs swinging. The first person they went after was an African-American kid who was just watching the demonstration. So we called out for what it was, racism. And then they began arresting people for calling the cops assholes, for swearing at cops, things we thought were protected under the country. This is the kind of freedom we're bringing to Afghanistan. I saw Jake Allen get smacked by a billy club. I saw people get tackled to the ground for videotaping what the police were doing. I saw all sorts of things that the police say they're supposed to be protecting people from. People being tackled for no reason at all. This is an unbridled police freaking riot for no reason. No reason whatsoever. I'm going to break up a little demonstration because people want to talk about their ideas. It's what this country is supposedly founded on. It's a bunch of crap from what we saw there. This is what our money pays for. And I'm sick and tired of hearing this crap over and over again. The protesters, the protesters don't hate the troops. The fucking cops seem to hate the population now. They seem to be going at us every chance that they get. And now every time we go to try to speak our rights, try to say what we, what we think, actually agree with the majority of the population, the cops just arrested a demonstration that expresses the interests of the majority of this population. But yet we have Congress who refuses to pass fucking health care, which the majority of people are for. We have a war that nobody wants, but this goes on, this goes on. And guess what? The people with the guns and the clubs, they keep doing what they're doing. That's why we keep going out here every freaking week, every year, every month. Have you ever seen anything like this escalated and this brutal at a local demonstration before? What do you account for, like, the severity in which they came out today? For, for years we've had demonstrations that were big, but we never felt that we were a threat. And that's a lot of the complaints people had. We never thought well, we were a threat. And in many ways we weren't. We were very symbolically protesting the war. This demonstration has radical demands, but again, it's just a statement of what we want. We want to let the public know what we think. But yet the cops decided that we are somehow a threat, a threat to the city of Rochester. They've never seen. Look, there's still like 30 cop cars over there.